Golgi apparatus in neurons, silver staining. The specimen is a cross section through a silver stained ganglion. We can see large neural perikaryons and dark stained axon bundles with myelin sheaths. It is not without reason that the Golgi apparatus was presented within neurons. The history of the discovery of these intracellular structures is closely related to pioneering research in neurohistology. In 1873, Camilo Golgi developed an innovative method for staining nerve tissue, which made it possible to study the connections between individual neurons. This method involved impregnation of scraps with silver salts. A few years later, in 1898, using a slightly modified staining method, Golgi noticed characteristic fibrous staining within the perikaryon cytoplasm. This structure was named the Golgi apparatus after its discoverer. The presence of the Golgi apparatus was discussed in many scientific debates for more than 50 years after its discovery. At that time, many researchers believed that the Golgi apparatus was in fact an artifact arising from impregnation with silver salts. This controversy was finally resolved with the use of electron microscopy in 1950. Within neuronal perikaryons, we can see the Golgi apparatus stained with a modified staining method used by the discoverer of the described structure. The silver reaction yields dark-colored, thread-like elements distributed in the cytoplasm, which form the Golgi apparatus. This organelle is located around an empty region in the center of the perikaryon. In fact, this is where the cell nucleus is located. Since the cell nucleus does not impregnate with silver salts and the specimen has not been additionally stained, we can only see its location. This is a description of perikaryons in the central cross section through the middle of a neuron. Due to the fact that perikaryons are relatively large cells, we distinguish so-called marginal cross-sections, where only dark-coloured fragments of the Golgi apparatus are visible without the nucleus.